Hey everybody, hope you're doing well and welcome back to the Warhorse Gaming Channel. And welcome to part two of the Trader Specialization Role tutorial. Now in part one of this series, we covered what you need to do to start the Trader Role, then we moved into the first stage of how to play the role by collecting materials. We talked about what those materials are and then covered a few tried and true ways of gathering and hunting for those materials more efficiently in order to maximize your efforts and minimize the time you spend collecting them. So in today's video, we're going to move on to the next stage of working the trader role, which is production. So what is production and how do I do it? Well, production is basically the gathering of supplies that Crips will use along with the animal materials you've been gathering to automatically create goods for you to sell. Now there's two different ways to get these supplies. The first and the easiest way is to simply buy them. To do this, you open the Crips Trading Company menu at the butcher table in your base camp and highlight the box that says production as you see on the screen. Then hold the button in the lower right corner of your screen that says order supplies. Now each time you order, you'll be charged $20 a load and then you'll have to wait for a short period of time for those supplies to be automatically delivered to your camp for Crips to begin or resume manufacturing sellable goods. Now one important thing to remember here is that these supplies run out fairly quickly and you'll usually have to replenish them a couple times during a full goods creation session by Crips. When you finally do run out of supplies during the goods creation process, you will also receive a notification on your screen to let you know when production has halted. Once this happens, you'll need to head back to your camp and repeat the process to get production started once more. This is a good way to get supplies if you're in a hurry or you don't feel like working for them, but will cost you money you may not have, especially when you're new to the game. But as I talked about earlier, there's also a second way. The second way to get supplies is to accept a resupply mission. These missions are acquired at the same place you order supplies at the butcher table, except this time you hold the button that says Start Resupply Mission. Once you start the mission, Crips will have a few words to say about acquiring some supplies, or in other words, stealing them, and then it's time to mount up and roll. So I bumped into a fella in town, told me he was having some problems with a gang around here. Uh, he's also got some supplies we could use, so I thought, why not kill two birds with one stone? You help him out, he helps us out, and nobody even needs to get robbed. You'll then receive a direction to travel to on horseback on your mini-map to go and collect the bags of supplies, usually two, by either stealing them after a shootout or trading for them depending on the random mission that you get. Now as you get close to the place you got to pick up your supplies, you'll notice that there's a red area on top of your mini-map. That means you got some unfriendlies in there that you're going to have to take out before you can get those supplies. So jump in there and take care of business. Now once you smoke the bad guys, the next thing you're going to want to do is either pick up the white flashing supply bags and walk over to your horse and stow them on his back, or like in our case, permanently borrow the wagon they're loaded in. Now either mount up on your horse or climb on the wagon and run the supplies you just got back to camp.
Another thing to remember here is that as you're on your way back to your camp with these supplies, you may or may not get attacked. So always be prepared to defend yourself at all times on the way. Once you get back, grab the bags off your horse and drop them, or drive the wagon into the yellow area on the minimap. That's what I like to see. You're now resupplied. Now doing either of these methods works equally well, and the only difference is one will cost you money and the other will cost you time and bullets. So it's really up to you which suits you best. One last thing you need to know is that when you first buy your butcher table, the first mission Crips will send you on will be a little different from the one that you just saw us do. Now the reason it's different is because it will give you your very first delivery wagon, which you'll then use to deliver and sell the new goods that are being created for you by Crips with the materials and supplies you're bringing in. And we'll get into how all that works in our next video. Alright, that's going to do it for us today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And be sure to click that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Take care and we'll see you in the next one.